Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and I thought it'd be a really fun idea to see what the cheapest lock pick set is on Amazon. And um, I was interested to see that it wasn't like a lock pick set that I'd normally think of. It's actually a credit card lock picking set. So, well, you know, I bought it anyway. So let's see what it's like. And here we are, freshly arrived, the uh, credit card pick set. I have to say, um, my first impressions are that it's it's really thick. I've seen these before, but I've forgotten how quite large these uh, credit card sets are. It is a size of a credit card in its di dimensions on the X and Y axes, but uh, it's really deep. I mean, that's like three millimeters. That's like, I don't know, four, maybe five credit cards thick. So if you're going to put that in your wallet, you're going to probably need to limit the amount of other stuff in your wallet. Um, <laughs> I was expecting, in terms of a lockpick set, an actual you know lockpick set with some tension tools and a number of actual picks with real handles, but um, you know, this was it. How do you get in? So it looks like you slide it. Okay, well, uh, okay, there you go. There you go, just need to lift it a little bit. What do you get inside this one? interesting little finger picks now I don't really mind these so much because you can uh, I, I tend to pick like this anyway so it's quite nice to have a handle to rest on but I don't hate using finger picks um, so you get a little snake rake there it's not bad very quite thick oh do you know what ha <laughs> that actually sort of had that was sharp that's a lot sharper than I thought okay that's silly uh, these obviously need filing because they have really sharp edges. Um, I felt like I was cutting myself there when I just did that. But they're really thick shanks on these. Um, and I actually seem quite thick on this profile as well. The metal feels a, a bit yucky. Uh, but it it's weakly... Ma it's, it's, it's not... It's actually some form of stainless steel. It's not very magnetic. So... It might not be very well finished at all, and it might be a bit thick and gross, but it, it does appear to be some kind of stainless steel. How thick are these? Wow, they're thick, 28 thousandths of an inch. So they're thick in both uh, ways, both the, the shank height and the width. Um, so you're going to need quite an open keyway to get those in. But there you go, so you get a snake and a little half diamond. Quite like the size of the half diamond, quite nice of those shallow locks. Um, so not too bad. Um, then what else do you get? So you get four picks here. Ooh, quite a nice city rake. I like that one. Actually, that could be quite a useful tool because you tend to, you know, not worry about the thickness so much with the city rake, just its durability. So I don't mind that at all, actually. And a hook, which seems to be quite shallow, but it only seems to be quite shallow because of how thick the shank is. If you actually made that a thin shank, you'll see that the distance between the bottom and the top is probably quite a lot compared to a a real um, short or shallow hook. Okay, a tension tool. Well, you do get a double-sided one and it doesn't appear to be finished <laughs> at all. Um, very sharp edges and it's like a saw. I think this is laser cut and it's obviously got some kind of stutter on it. Um, you get two ends, one thick, one thin. I don't hate that as a principle. It's not too bad, I guess. Okay, so how are we gonna test this? Well, I've chosen three locks, an easy to rake master lock three, a easy to pick master lock M1 XL, and then finally, just to really test things, a small keyway padlock with spools and it's paracentric keyway as well. So, you know, it's, it's that's gonna be a real test for something like this kit. Okay, so the first thing to do, I guess, is do a raking test. Okay, so I've chosen the snake rake and I'm struggling to get tension on this lock. I might be able to top of the keyway, actually. I was doing bottom of the keyway, but the actual core of the lock is set quite deeply inside this master lock three. So. I'm struggling to sort of get good purchase um, bottom of the keyway, but maybe top of the keyway. 
like this could work. It actually doesn't feel too uncomfortable, thumb tensioning. All right, let's give that a go. Oh, wow, it's like a, a saw. Good, not, good job this isn't a great lock. Yuck. I'm, I'm barely getting any feedback at all. I think that this is such a shallow um, rake and it's uh, struggling even to get it around this very open keyway to, to get up to the pins. Now, I'm going to have to try try to tension it like this and then slide it in like this. Mm. That's... Uh, that's not great either. Let's try the thinner side. Can I get tension? Maybe, maybe. Let's try that. That might fall out any given moment. All right, all right. Oh, oh, that, this is horrid. Uh, I really don't, I really want to be able to do this. Okay, how about, how about we use a city rake? We'll just use a city rake on this one. All right, let's try that. So. These can be tensioned either way, so I'm going to try and tension this counterclockwise and slide in the city rake and then see if I can get this one. This, by the way, just feels hor horrible. Um, <gasps> wow, I did not expect that. It actually opened. So, yeah, I, I probably sawed most of the um, brass off the key pins there, but we did get in with the city rake albeit very underfinished and extremely sharp definitely sand these if you do get them definitely all right next test the picking test so here is the m1 um might try some form of top of the keyway with this if i can i'm just struggling to think about how i'm going to get the pick in as well regardless of where i tension it just because it's so thick, but I, I, I'm going to try. It's just trying to get this really thick uh, pick around this little bit of warding, even on this very open keyway. That's the trick, I think, here. Can I do it? <gasps> no way. We did do it. That was absolutely horrible to do and incredibly sharp. And I'm surprised I didn't cut myself, but it did actually work. We are into the lock. Very easy to pick, very open keyway, but yeah, we did get in. Probably more the lock being rubbish and the picks being good, I imagine. Okay, which leads, leaves the final and hardest test. This one, the very small paracentric keyway, uh, security lock with spools. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a go. So you got to tension this clockwise. Um, Oh, does that fit? Mm, not really. Does that fit? Not really. Uh, top of the keyway? Yeah, just about. Okay. Well, that's weird, but it sort of works. Can I get the pick around this? N no. Oh. Um, okay, let's try the, the little half diamond. If I just get it in... Okay, there, sort of, and then, oh, into a false set. <gasps> we picked a second pin. <gasps> I cannot believe that. I, I would have sworn that this would never have picked this lock. Um, it's it's got a really nice bitting on it as well, and it's got some really nice spools. Maybe that was a fluke, but uh, it did pick this lock. That is, well, I'm 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 almost speechless actually. I have to say, um, I was going to write this extraordinarily cheap pick set off as absolute rubbish, um, and it turns out that it's some form of <laughs> I don't know if it's stainless steel, some some form of non-magnetic steel can we say that it's i haven't tested it to see if it's stainless but uh and they are incredibly thick and very unwieldy um but they did pick those locks so I, if they pick those locks i'll pick other locks um i, I is, can i recommend it i i well, i don't know i, I mean i 
maybe the picks on its own in the case it's just way too big and bulky i mean what would you do with it uh, the picks themselves, they, they would need a lot of finishing, but I think if you sanded them down a lot and made them a bit safer and maybe ground down the profiles a wee bit, they could be quite useful. I have a friend of mine, uh, Yukov, who does something with his picks like this. He actually cuts a little cut halfway down the picks in the handle and slots them together like that so that they actually provide... Um, a longer pick. It's actually quite ingenious and because they're so thick it just about works. So that's worth thinking about. So is it worth buying? I think for the money it's, it's worth looking into. I mean it does need a lot of finishing off and it's almost dangerously sharp the way it is but I am shocked I actually managed to get into some locks um, with them but they did pick some locks so I really can't hold that against them. It's probably best with some really wide open keyways so if you're in um, the United States or maybe Australia um, or you are in Europe but love picking master locks then uh, yeah this 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 will get you into a lot of locks will it get you into some more paracentric smaller lock keyway locks um, maybe uh, it, uh, yeah maybe wow I'm, I'm a bit lost of words there hope you enjoyed that I'll see you all next time